lot of times when I am ready to start a new garment, I have no idea what I want to make next. So what I typically do in those situations is I will go into my sewing room, I will take my box of scraps, dump them out, and then I will sort through the different pieces and I will pull out some patterns and I'll look at the line art and I'll try to match up the amount of fabric that I have to maybe a portion of a pattern. So I may look to see if I have enough fabric to make a bodice, if I have enough fabric to maybe make a skirt or some straps. And then I will just start piecing things together and just kind of see what, what happens. And so that's what happened or that's what this sewing make that I'm going to share with you today is all about. So the sewing make that I made today or that I will be sharing with you today is McCall's 6700. This is an older pattern. It actually came out in 2013 and I made it out of two different fabrics. So it is a scrap buster. It is all one color so it's all black. So the top of the garment I made out of a faux suede which is really soft and I purchased it from Joanne Fabrics and the bottom half of the garment the skirt portion I made out of a ponte knit that I had left over from a garment that I made from fabric from Minerva Crafts. Wow I couldn't get that out. So now let me tell you about some of the features in this garment and then I will tell you about what I did to make it all come to life. So there are ties in the back and the ties actually are supposed to be sewn into the shoulder area of the garment. There is elastic that is placed inside the shoulders which is really nice because it draws in the shoulder area a little bit and I thought that that was a cute feature. There is also elastic that is supposed to be sewn into the waist of the garment. So some of the things that I did different. So for the ties that go into the back, I did not sew mine to the shoulders. I did move the ties down a little bit. The front and the back of the garment crisscross. And so I just pushed or moved the straps down a little bit and just tacked them to the inside of the back of the garment. I also made my ties a little bit wider because the ponte knit, I used ponte knit for the ties in the back and the ponte knit was really thick and so I had a hard time turning the fabric inside out so I just ended up cutting a, another piece and made it a little bit wider so I had enough fabric to do that and then some of the other changes that I made I decided not to put the elastic in the waist I did make a belt to tie around my waist I ended up making the belt thinner than the fabric piece or the pattern piece. So it called for a wider belt, but I just made mine a little bit thinner because I was really short on fabric and I had plenty for the bodice. What I did not have was enough for the skirt. So what I did to make this skirt come to life because I did not have enough fabric, I took the pattern piece for the skirt, which actually is the same piece that you would use for the front and the back of the skirt. So I had enough fabric to make one piece one front piece or either a back piece so let's say it was the front so i took the pattern piece and i laid it down onto the fabric i did not have enough to cut the fabric out on the fold so what i did was i just placed the pattern piece down and i just cut up the side so that was one front we'll say for the back piece i did not have enough to even cut it out the same way so what I did was I took some strips of fabric that I had just laying around and I made sure they were long enough and I sewed them to the remaining pieces of fabric that I had just because I wanted to get like a wide enough piece of fabric to be able to cut the back portion of the skirt out. So I just sewed a couple of strips together until it was wide enough and then once the fabric was wide enough to cut out then I placed my pattern piece on top of that and I cut it out the same way that I did for the front. And then I had enough for the front and the back piece and then I was able to sew everything together. 
and as I was laying the pattern piece out I just cut as far down as the pattern would allow so when the pattern ran out then I just you know I stopped cutting because I couldn't cut anymore anyway and so I wasn't sure what that would lead me with leave me with I wasn't sure if I was gonna have like a long top or end up being long enough for a skirt so I said, okay, whatever it is, it is. I'm just gonna add it to the bodice. And if it's too long or too short, then I will, you know, adjust. More than likely it was gonna be too short rather than too long because I didn't have that much fabric. Let me show you what the end result turned out to be. Okay, so that's my dress. It is a scrap buster. I really, really like the way that it came out, especially because I was just kind of playing around and I was like, hey, what do I have to lose? I'm just gonna slap some things together. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And I actually really do like it. So before I go, I wanna leave you with a love share. Some Tesla cars have a feature that will let drivers play video games on the car's center screen. The car does have to be in park and drivers can actually use the steering wheel as a game controller. Isn't that so 